Yeah, you don't got peanut butter and jam dumplings? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Pho and this dim sum is really all I have to represent <laughs> me. <laughs> well, that's the price of admission. If you want to date an Asian girl, you got to you gotta suck some chicken toes. You know? <laughs> is eating Asian food with your non-Asian friends sometimes a little annoying? Ali Wong seems to think so, and I'm here with Ronnie Chang's number one Asian comedian to look out for, Vic Tran, to talk about it. What's up? I'm Vic Tran. I'm also Ali Wong's number one favorite comedian of all time. <laughs> and yeah, I'm half Vietnamese, half Filipino. I've had my food featured on Fear Factor. So yeah, I'm ready to talk about this. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, we got to talk about this viral clip of Ali Wong and the Kelly Clarkson show. She reaccounts when she used to take her comedian friends out to eat dim sum. And uh, they would just spend the whole meal just questioning, like, what's in that? What's in that? Oh, that, why does that look weird? That's, mm -hmm. Why does that look weird? Um, so let's roll the clip and let's talk about it. I, like when I was living in New York and a bunch of stand-up comics would be like, look, take me to dim sum. I want to go to dim sum. And then we'd go to dim sum and they'd be like, what is that? Ew, what is that? What is that? What is that? All right, everybody. Before we get into the comment section and our own personal stories, please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hop Hop Boys. Vic, what are some initial thoughts that come to mind? My initial thought is the lesson here is to uh, not feed comedians. <laughs> they're annoying, <laughs> and they're going to make fun of your food. I brought a uh, white comedian friend to eat pho one time in Texas, and the whole time he just complained about how it looks like dirty dishwater. And it's like, he did it in front of the people who made the food, too. It's like, yeah, yeah it doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, all soup looks like dirty water. That's what soup is. Yeah, it's just dirtied with seasoning and meat and vegetables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dim sum is usually not even the weirdest thing. I get, like, maybe the little dumplings on steam baskets, and then there's the chicken feed, mm -hmm. and sometimes the tripe dish that is a little bit odd-looking, I would say. Even for some Asian kids growing up, it took me until, like, I was 12 to really enjoy chicken feed. Yeah. But that's when I kind of, like, accepted. I was like, nah, this is fire. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, dim sum, I feel like, is pretty friendly as, you know, as, like, a Asian food. You know what I mean? Like, pretty friendly to, like, Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I'm not going to lie, man, and between Filipino and Viet, y'all got balut. <laughs> we got balut. Or hot, hot vit lan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is more on the weird... I mean, I've had balut a lot, yeah. but it's not something I would, like, eat as a snack. I'll admit it. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird-looking one, you know? Like, I... My uncle used to feed that to me on the beach and like people would just look at us like, is that kid eating seagulls right now? <laughs> so yeah, I can see how that could be a little off-putting, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't insult it in front of other people. Right, right. I have some respect. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, let's get into the comment section. There's some pretty funny comments about this. Um, someone said, who is she eating with? 15 year olds? <laughs> and then someone comes in and replies and be like, yeah, well, this has happened to me countless times with my friends. And I'm going to be honest. I've even had other Asians make comments and try to be funny about Chinese food. That's not even weird. Like, not even chicken feet. Like, I'm talking about there was beef chow fun on the table. Yeah. And there was, like, some Korean comedians. And they were trying to, like, <laughs> question the meat and because it's like a brown noodle. But it's, yeah. like, you know, it's very, like. You know, that's like one of the main like Cantonese dishes is beef chow fun at any at any fast food spot right that you eat. Like I would never make that joke about like japchae, like their noodles or like the, you know, cowby gym and stuff. So I thought yeah. what I'm saying is I guess maybe it's partially a comedian thing, but obviously a lot of people have stories about non-Asian friends and not just white people, could be anybody, mm -hmm. you know, white and black and, and and you know, anybody who's not really like an immigrant, yeah. I think is more weirded out by stuff. Yeah, I think being weirded out by food, that's like a, that's like a example of like white privilege. It's like, <laughs> you've had food accessible your whole life. Like, you know, you you have the luxury of being disgusted by food. <laughs> right. You are the standard. Yeah. There's another comment that says, well, you know, I've seen some immigrants and foreign exchange students here in America be surprised and shocked at how unclean our food is. You know, some of the stinky cheeses, the spam and the hot dogs, you know, they <laughs> thought it was weird too. So every culture got some weird food. Yeah. I mean, I guess coming from a standpoint of like, you know, from countries even in Europe or in Asia where they're more used to eating like food that you can see what's inside of it. Something like a hot dog. Right. When, you ex when Americans try to explain what's in a hot dog, like you're like, I, I don't know. 
Yeah, you don't even know what's in your own foods, you know? Yeah. Like, don't be worried about chicken feet when you're eating chicken nuggets, which is like, that's like ground up chicken feet, chicken beak, <laughs> chicken eyeballs. That's the whole chicken ground up in one. All right, but I would say I would not compare dim sum to, you know this, you're from Texas, uh-huh. Rocky Mountain oysters. What is that? What is that's Rocky the Mountain? bull testicles. Oh, yeah, okay. What yeah, like, I, you can't compare dim sum, like, dumplings to, like, the bull's dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had that in Texas. I ate that, actually, a couple times. Like, they're not horrible, but I would never, I would never be like, oh, you guys hungry? Let's yeah. go get some bull balls. Yeah, and if I ever, if I ever ate them, I would treat them with respect, the way that bull balls should be treated. <laughs> you massage them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, crispy <laughs> Rocky Mountain oysters. Uh, there's this other comment that was like, "Yeah, don't yuck my yum." That's a good saying. I like that's that. that's kind of funny. Don't yuck my yum. I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna steal. But that. are there yums that should be yucked that um, are worthy of being yucked? Like, you know, we all see the Instagram videos. I see people reposting. Like, you know, there's, in Asia, they they be eating the live stuff. At least on the mukbangs for the clout. You know, like in America, people are doing like getting clout by like pranking people yeah. in China. They're just getting clout by like eating live octopus, like straight when it's moving. Yeah. I think if it, I think if it's seasoned, it's okay. <laughs> That's the rule. You're saying you just have to add one yeah. seasoning element to it. Yeah. If you make it into some sort of culinary thing, then it's okay to eat. <laughs> you just do this. And then you just yeah. Do, do the salt bay. Then you could eat it. Yeah, yeah. There's this other comment that says, well, I'm Asian and from San Francisco, and I was eating at a Chinese restaurant in Tennessee, and I bit into the dumpling, and I had to gag and spit it out because I thought it was undercooked or raw or something was wrong. But mm-hmm. as it turned out, there was just peanut butter inside of it. And <laughs> everybody at the table was looking at me like I'm weird, asking, hey, you don't got peanut butter in your dumplings where you're from? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a really like... It's like a weird instance where an Asian person is kind of weirded out at the Americanized or localized combination right. of an Asian food. Yeah, yeah. But it is weird to kind of have peanut butter and a dumpling. Like, I don't think it tastes horrible, but I just would think it is weird. It would shock it, you. It is weird. It's surprising that everybody else there didn't realize that was weird. Like, if they're serving dumplings and they know what dumplings traditionally is, so they should know that peanut butter is not... Common with dumplings. I you you don't put uh you don't put peanut butter in in, in your pho <laughs> in dumplings. You don't do that. Yeah, you don't got peanut butter and jam dumplings. <laughs> What's wrong with you, you weirdos in San Francisco? You prunies out in California? Yeah, it's these coastal elites. You too good for peanut butter dumplings? <laughs> Yo, yeah, and, but that's the thing about Chinese restaurants is that they'll just open up in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. While I I feel like Viet restaurants, I feel like they got to be around other Viets. Yeah, like I guess not that so. many Viet restaurants are in the boonies. Like I know there's some, but like yeah. Chinese restaurants are known. They'll be the. Uh, they could be. It could be for for 50 miles. You don't see a single Asian person, and then yeah. there's like one Chinese express spot. Yeah, that is true. Or that like a Sichuan true. King, or like yeah, yeah. I guess Vietnamese Golden spots Palace. are really only in like the Vietnamese enclave cities. Yeah, like. Chinese don't need to be around other Chinese. They don't, <laughs> they don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Americans just have no manners, especially when asking questions. Mm-hmm. So they're saying like, oh, it's kind of a manner thing from Americans to be kind of rude and always questioning the food. Like, oh, I think so. like you put the bowl and then I was like, okay, number four, you have the <laughs> XL number four, no tripe. And then the person's like, what is this bathwater? <laughs> Dude, seriously. I think asking a food, like, what is this? That's the same thing as asking an Asian person, like, where are you from from? It's like the same thing. Yeah, like, why don't they ask you that when you're ordering? And be like, hey, Vic, can you just give me, like, a rice plate? Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know what you might get them is, like, the calm damn, like, the egg, the egg little cake. Uh, the steamed yeah. egg cake. And then they're probably still like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, if I was a white person, I think... What I would need to know is, like, the foods you need to look out for are not the ones in the dumplings. The foods that you need to look out for are the ones that look like exactly what they are. Like, chicken feet, balloons. Right. fish you know, head. Fish like head. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then I, uh, this, uh, my thought was that, you know, Ali Wong is kind of calling out a lot of her old comedian friends, which I do think were, like, white and black guys, mm-hmm. primarily. Probably women, too. You know, I don't want to say that women wouldn't do that, but it does sound like more of a dude thing to do. Be like, Ali, take me out to eat dim sum. 
And then you go out to dim sum, you're like, wait, what is that brown ball? Like, why does it yeah. look like that? You know? I think guys would be more blatant about it. Like, oh, what's this? I think girls, they just wouldn't eat it. And then they would talk shit about it without her to their other friends afterwards. Do you think that, that all there's a sense like, hey, Allie, take me out to dim sum so I know, you know, Asian food so I can like talk to these Asian women. <laughs> and then you just find out. And then oh, the guy's like, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's the price of admission. If you want to date an Asian girl, you got to you gotta suck some chicken toes. You know? <laughs> uh, so major takeaways, don't take comedians out to eat food. <laughs> Let them starve. Uh-huh. Um, another takeaway is like, yeah, I don't think, you know, Ali is only referring to white people. I think she's just referring to a very Americanized mindset. Like I said, I've seen... Other Asians say that about other Asian food. Um, you know, I think part of it is people trying to be funny, but it, it is annoying, especially if it's like a food that's dear to you. You it don't want to like, you're like, bro, you're like basically making fun of me. You're like clowning my entire existence. Yeah, my because existence. this pho and this dim sum is really all I have to represent <laughs> me. <laughs> and you're just shitting on all of it. Yeah, you're sh- you're. Sh- on me, my ancestors, like my entire, like, you know, generational timeline. Yeah. Uh, foods that you won't eat real quick. Are there Asian foods that you're like, nah, I'm going to back off? Like, mm, uh, I don't go down on women. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I got a pretty open mind. I'll eat anything. Anything? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm a very adventurous eater. I'm down to eat whatever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thing I, I, and I've said this on the channel before, I do not like intestines. You don't like intestines? No. I'll eat tripe. I like different types of tripe, right? Uh-huh. There's different stomachs. Intestines, I can't do, man. Anything that like the, oh. the bowel moves through. Mm-hmm. What about like, uh, what about like blood based dishes? Like blood cubes? Yeah. I like. Thai boat noodles, which is like a blood soup. Uh huh. Blood sausage is okay. Blood cakes, okay. Yeah. The blood cubes that are sometimes in like Bumble Hui, mm. it's okay. I, I nibble. I yeah. nibble. I'm not like, yo, give me the cube. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're meant to be nibbled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a Filipino dish called Dinaguan. Yeah. 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 I love it. It's one of my favorite dishes. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's okay. I've had yeah. it. I wouldn't, you know what? Those are all things that like if everybody's eating it, I'm down. Like Balut too, I'll eat it. Yeah. You know, kind of like for fun. Yeah. But I would never be like, yeah. you know, I'm mm, craving for <laughs> some fertilized duck egg. Yeah. You guys know what sounds good right now? <laughs> some duck fetus. Let's go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys let us know in the comments down below what you think. Have you ever taken your non-Asian friend out to eat? Or maybe you're Asian and there was a food that you thought was weird. Right, mm-hmm. maybe there's a Western or an American food that you think is weird. What is an American word, food that's weird? Yeah, I don't know. Hot spam? I don't know. You don't know what's in spam, but yeah, it's a good example. It's good. Either way, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. That's Vic Tran. Check him out down below. And until next time, we out. Peace.